And the next one is uh, our friends Chani have another story from Singapore. That's right. The Mission Embassy in Singapore has launched the KPIS or the Indonesia Singapore Worker Card. Yes, and card holders are hoped to enjoy benefits that come with it, like participating in training programs to improve their skills or even taking up a hobby. Chani Wasadani has the report. The need for laborers in Singapore, combined with a relatively high GDP, makes it an ideal destination for Indonesians looking for blue-collar jobs. To assist Indonesian migrant workers, especially female workers, in December 2016, the Indonesian Embassy in Singapore launched the Indonesia-Singapore Worker Cards, or the KPIS. The KPIS functions as an ID card and through a joint initiative with BNI Bank also helps sending remittance to family back in Indonesia. Uh, a card is not only just a simple card, of course it's a, a database for us, but at the same time also we offer through this uh, card uh, a better uh, you know, service from the embassy to our Indonesian uh, workers in Singapore. And at the same time, we also uh, give uh, some benefits, so then they will be able to also uh, attract it to uh, register and to have the cards. Up until mid-January, around 4,000 migrant workers have signed up for the card. The embassy continues their efforts to bring in more people to register for KPIS. Registered every day uh, are uh, around uh, in, the, in, the, in the number of 70s and uh, 60s. And we are trying also to uh, open sometimes on Sunday because most of the workers, they will have only a uh, day off on Sunday. Based on the data that we have here in the embassy, we have around uh, 80, uh, 70 to 80,000 uh, uh, registered at the embassy. And we are hoping to cover that uh, with the KPS. Among the benefits of the card is a scannable barcode that opens up access to a dashboard providing real-time information about training programs held by the Indonesian Embassy. More than 35% of Indonesian citizens in Singapore are domestic workers. The KPIS card gives them mobile access to information put out by the Embassy and learn more about their rights and obligations as migrant workers in Singapore. Chani Vasandani, MNC World News, Singapore. And time for another short break. After this entertainment news, we have yes. Madonna. If you want to find out about the story, don't go anywhere.